Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing our third example for the customer level DFD for the online shopping website. So this is the part three and the last lecture series for this data flow diagram. So my dear students, as we discussed in the last lectures, a data flow diagram is a graphical view of how the data is processed in a system in term of input and output. The data flow diagrams contain symbols for representing each of these data. So a data flow diagram basically contains four independent symbols with a data flow process, entity and data structure. A data flow are pipelines through the packet of information flow and it is represented by an arrowhead. A process or a task is represented by an ellipse whose duty is to perform task in a system. Entities are objects of the system. A source or destination data of a system are represented by entity. And in data flow diagram, this entity is represented by rectangular box. And a data store is a place where data is to be stored, which is represented by two parallel lines. So as we mentioned, we can use four independent symbols. Data flow by arrow, process by ellipse, entity by rectangle, and a data store by two parallel lines. So these symbols are used in a data flow diagrams. So my dear students, in the last lectures, we have discussed the zeroth level and first level DFD for the customer side online website portal. So in the customer side level one DFD, we can see five independent processes with the search item, registration, login, account detail, and purchase processes. And the level two DFD focuses upon expanding each of these independent processes. So in the last lecture, we had expanded the fourth process that is the account detail and in the lecture number 44 we had expanded the process 1 2 and 3 that is search item registration and login processes as level 2 dfds and in this lecture we are expanding the fifth process that is the purchase process and this process expansion leads to the level 2 dfd of the customer side with purchase process expansion so many students when it comes to the level 2 dfd of the purchase of customer side a user can purchase or order a particular commodity by logging into the system so the first process associated with the purchase process is the login which is represented in ellipse with the process number 5.0. So a customer can log in into system by providing the essential login details that is the customer name, login ID or a username with a particular password. These login credentials are verified with an algorithm by the process login with the help of the user detail database. Once the login credentials are correctly given, a user entity that is represented in rectangle, a user entity can be moved to the second process that is a process 5.1. The process name is view item. The view item process deals with displaying all the essential entities or data which are stored in the item list data area. The item list data area stores the details of products which are available in that particular website. So a customer can search, a customer can sort or a customer can view the different items which are stored in the item list data area. Once the customer is gone through this particular item, he can purchase those commodities by selecting and adding those details into the add cart process. The add cart process saves the selected commodities which are stored in the user cart data area. So once a customer selected some commodities, those commodities are added to the shopping cart and the confirmation process deals with filling up of all these selected commodities. So the selected commodities bills are prepared in the confirmation area and this confirmation process ensures that the final list of 
items that are selected and prepares the bill for those particular products so this process is represented in an ellipse with number 5.3 the final process in this area is payment process that is 5.4 which is represented in the last ellipse and the payment process deals with online transactions or payment areas which are associated with the data store area online banking database so this individual process that is a payment process itself can be expanded into the next level that is a level 3 dfd by giving the username m pins that is mobile pins digital verifications etc so once needed we can expand this into the next level dfd so these are the individual processes associated with the fifth process purchase of the customer side of online website so my dear students hope you had understood this topic so dear students kindly go through this assignment question the question is draw the level 2 dfd for the online ticket booking system so my dear students in the upcoming lectures we are going to discuss the uml diagrams which are associated with object oriented analysis and design so my dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best